Hi everyone, this is Lori Whitlock, and in this video I'm going to show you how to open a file in Silhouette Studio and prepare it to cut. I get questions from customers asking how to open my files and prepare a paper crafting project to cut. So hopefully this video will give you a few tips and tricks about how to do this. So if you're using the designer edition, you may be trying to open SVG files. In order to do that, you'll go to File, Open, and then you'll locate the SVG file on your hard drive and just double click it to open and it will show up right here on your screen. So you can see that you have all the pieces. You can zoom out to create this project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm also going to show you if you're using files that you've purchased from the Silhouette Design Store, you can go to your library. Once you've downloaded them, they'll show up and you'll be able to just double click on the project and it will show up on your screen. So either method works, just go ahead and get your files open and you'll see something like this. And you're probably looking at this going, wait a minute, there's a lot of pieces, they don't all fit on the mat, how do I prepare this and get it cut out? So the first thing that I like to do is move all these pieces off to the left hand side of my screen. And then I will right click somewhere on those pieces and click ungroup. You can see that there's little boxes around each of the individual pieces and we will be able to move those on and off the mat to get them cut out. So I would grab my first set of pieces that I want to cut and move them onto the mat. So now I'm going to zoom into the mat area so you can take a little closer look at what I'm doing here. Um, but I like to turn on my um, mat so that I can see it. So under your page settings you can go to reveal your mat and just slide that reveal up until you're comfortable with how much is showing. You can turn it all the way on, 50%, whatever you'd like to do. So just place your pieces in that area and then you can see that your paper is going to have to be six inches long in order to fit those pieces on it. The other thing I like to do is show my cut border right here. You can see the red line shows up around the edges. It's showing you where the machine will cut to. You can actually turn that off and I typically do. I'm pretty experienced at cutting and so I usually just go to my defaults under preferences and click cut to edge of paper. When I hit apply that red line goes away and now I'm free to place my paper as close to the edge as I would like to or feel comfortable. I usually stay away from the edge but if you accidentally get a little tiny bit over that red line it will not cut. So I find it um, sometimes messes up my projects. So I will make sure my project is on the mat and that I have a piece of paper loaded on my mat that's large enough to cut these pieces up and I will go to my cut settings window and make sure that your your cut is turned on if you choose no cut your lines will all turn off and you'll see that you're not cutting anything so make sure cut is turned on if you were to cut only the edge um, you might not get all the pieces on the inside um, so make sure cut is turned on and you can see what's going to cut then I like to choose cardstock it tells me to put my ratchet blade on a five I typically move it up one notch to a six and I don't do that on my screen. I do that on my physical blade. I remove it from my machine and set it to a 6. I typically turn my speed up to a 10. Um, it suggests a thickness of 20 for cardstock. Sometimes I will bump that up to 21 or 2, but I will typically do a test cut before I even cut so I know what material I'm working on and what cuts. Some people like to turn double cut on. I don't typically turn it on for something this simple. I can usually get a good clean cut with these settings. Then I will go ahead and send this to Silhouette. Once I'm done with those pieces, I will delete them off my page and zoom out and then grab my next pieces for cutting. A little tip for cutting multiple pieces at the same time, because these are a lot of pieces and a lot of different color changes, it's great to throw on like maybe your black pieces here in the corner. Oh, those are groups, so I'll have to ungroup those and maybe put your pink pieces up in another corner and then you can put scraps on your mat um, to cut the different colors out at one time. So I could put my red pieces down in this corner. And of course you can change the colors if you don't want to cut it out of the colors I've suggested. You can cut them out of any color, but this might help you stay a little more organized. Um, and then I would pull my pink pieces up here and, oops, I grabbed the blue one. Grab the pink pieces and put them up here. And you can get kind of creative and fit little pieces in between so that you can save paper. Um, and I might even throw the brown one here. So I would put a scrap of black in this corner and I would zoom in close enough to check out the measurements. I know that that's, you know, one, two, three, four, 
five inches high by four inches wide. If I put a four by five on there, I should easily be able to cut that out. So make sure you put your, um, make sure your paper is large enough for the way you've set up your files. Then I would go ahead and go back to my cut settings and send this one to Silhouette. And again, I would proceed, um, continue to do this process until all of my pieces are cut out. And I would load the next color on as well. So hopefully that helps you know my process for getting um, these pieces cut out. I'll give you a couple of tips. The first thing, one thing, I never ever ever remove my mat from my machine until I've checked it to see if it's cut out cleanly. So if I were cutting um, you know, this piece out, I would grab literally this little corner with my fingernail and lift it up and make sure it is cut out before I remove the mat from the machine. Because if it's not cut cleanly, you can go ahead and send to silhouette again a second time and it will precisely cut in the same position a second time and you'll get a clean cut the second time. If for some reason maybe I was cutting this out of chipboard and it's just not cutting all the way through and I forgot to change my blade or something you can then change your blade or change your thickness or whatever and send to silhouette again until you get a good clean cut. I don't ever do any hand trimming I just make sure my machine does the work for me but make sure never ever remove that mat until you've checked it. Um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this will help you with your paper cutting and I hope you enjoy making your next paper crafting project. Have a great day. Bye-bye.